second is going to be a tire inflator. I got the one from Apex because it was small and compact. It has a flashlight built in and it also acts as a battery bank for your phone in case you ever need to charge it or something and your car has died or whatever. I've been using this for over a year now and it's worked flawlessly. You've probably seen other YouTubers that have been sponsored by Apex. I am not sponsored. I bought it with my own money and I thoroughly enjoy it, which is why I'm recommending it. And now, My goodness, it's a hot one today. You know, it's always pretty cool when a company that makes a product that you bought with your own money and have been using reaches out to you to take a look at or review a new product. And that's what we have here today. Fantic reached out and they said, we saw that you've been using and recommending our X8 Apex tire inflator. Do you want to take a look at the new EV version? And I said, well, first I said, yeah, sure. Why not? And then secondly, I said, what's the difference? And well, I'm just going to be upfront, right? I'm not going to waste your time. If you have the old one, don't buy the new one. The new one, while it does have some minor improvements, it's not enough to actually justify upgrading to the new tire inflator i mean if you're looking to purchase it as like a gift or something well then it is massively on sale right now if you click the link down below and head on over to amazon amazon prime members can actually get 50 dollars off like when you add it to your cart just use code jex8 apex and if you don't have prime i'll also have a link down below to where you can uh get like a free trial and it'll still work and of course as i'm all about transparency here on the channel as i always say with any of these videos where a company sends me something out they did send it out for free i'm not being paid to make the video they're not seeing the video before it's going out i actually owned one of their products previously without them even knowing i paid for it with my own money i do get a very tiny kickback if you do purchase via my links down below it's a great way to support the channel uh, but yeah, for those differences over the normal one, well, it has the yellow stripe, which I wouldn't really count as a difference. It doesn't really do anything. Secondly, which this one actually is pretty nice. It does have a longer tube to it. So the old one would have a tendency if the uh, nozzle happened to be on like the bottom of the, uh, of the vehicle or <laughs> not the vehicle, like toward the ground, this one would have a tendency, as you can see, it can't really like, it can barely reach where this one is much much longer so uh that is nice and then third the there's so many cars driving by and then third it has a new preset and they're calling it the ev preset and well all it really does is just set your psi to 42. Um, you could have just looked inside the car and set the old one to that, which is what I did anyway. But that does not take away from the fact that I still do think this is like the best. It's not even like technically a Tesla accessory because it's not something specific. It's just overall one of my favorite vehicle accessories. I mean, it's a battery powered cordless tire inflator that's two times faster than like a 12 volt tire inflator that you would keep in your car that you would have to hook into your 12 volt. It has a 7,800 milliamp hour battery, which is good for like 40 minutes of runtime, which I think I've only ever had to charge mine like literally one time. It's loud, but not like crazy loud. I believe it peaks at like 80 decibels. <laughs> and while it does shake and like vibrate, you can still leave it on the ground. It has enough bottom weight to where it can sit up, continue to operate without falling over or like vibrating back and tipping over. It's a great tire inflator. And then it's also not just a tire inflator. It also acts as a flashlight with multiple modes. I believe one of them is an SOS mode, though I wouldn't really SOS oncoming traffic <laughs> if you're on the side of the road. And then the other feature is the battery bank, which is something that I actually really do like. My only complaint is that it's a USB-A out and not a USB-C out. While the, like actually charging the device is USB-C, which is nice. Why not just have that be an in and an output and then maybe have the USB-A as like an output, right? Because a lot of my things now are USB-C to either like lightning for the iPhones or just really anything that I use now is the end that goes into like the wall or the like adapter box is all USB-C. I barely use anything that's USB-A. That's like my only complaint. Speaking of that USB-C charging, I've put it on charge at like one bar before, which is less than 25%. And it's charged up to full within like 30 to 45 minutes. And it'll just keep its charge for just for forever like this one right here i have not charged since may and it is let's see here it's still at three out of four bars and 
I used it, like filled up the tires and then just stored it away and haven't touched it since. And we're still at three out of four bars. So it's standby time is really, really good. But yeah, I mean, there's nothing else really to say. I've been raving about this tire inflator for literally over a year now. Uh, it's in all of my accessory videos. And the fact that they sent one out for me to check out, I appreciate it. I'm still gonna continue to recommend it until there is a reason not to recommend it or there's a better product, but I haven't found one. And uh, yeah, like I said, you can click the link down in the description, head on over to Amazon, add it to your cart, and then use code J. AEX8 Apex to bring it down to $50 off. You do need to be a Prime member. And like I said, I'll have another link down below where you can get a free trial for Prime, which will still work. And uh, yeah, thank you all so much for watching. Thank you to Fantech for sending this out. And I'll catch you all in the next one.